Well, here we are. Now we're in a section that's really growing and it's the protein alternatives for vegetarians and vegan eating. And I find in practice when I see a lot of patients coming through, you know, we're hearing a lot about plant foods and having less animal proteins. That's all fine, but I think the issue I'm seeing is that we're thinking we're eating a protein alternative, but are we really? So we'll have a look at what proteins are available. And the common nutritional issues, if you are going to have more plant proteins, is that we've got to find um, ways that we can still boost our B12 and also our iron intake. So you'll find some interesting proteins yeah. here. And I think for, um, as a non-vegetarian, um, I'm always in, you know, uh, inquisitive about this area um, because it is very topical, uh, mm. vegans, vegetarians, amongst like um, other, um, other diets out there on the market. But like, tell me Geraldine, so mm. how does um, a, a vegetarian or a vegan acquire protein, like what does that look like? Yeah, so I mean, yeah, we talk about meat and three veg. So it's literally trying to find that protein alternative that is plant-based. Okay. So if we have a look here, there's a new protein that's on the market which is called corn. And people people think when I say corn, I'm saying C-O-R-N, that's Q-U-O-R-N. And the interesting thing about it, it's actually made from a fungi. And so if I just show you here, so there's many alternatives. I always find it interesting though that they might make it in a sausage form, even though it's a plant version. So but you're saying that this is like a, a fungi type of pork? Yeah, so it's called oh. a mycoprotein. Okay. And um, interestingly, so when you look at the label, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this, and yeah. maybe when we do a few extra articles, we might put some links. But if we look at the carbohydrate on this one, um, when you look at, always look at per serve because you're always looking for a meal. And I yep. normally say for a protein for a main meal, around the 20 gram mark is okay. quite good. Uh, so the carbohydrate's seven, but the protein's 12.8. And there's two and a half serves in here. So that's not a bad protein source um, to actually have as part of a meal. But I think the thing is, and what I want to point out, is that for some people you might be going, right, well I'm gonna have something that's sort of a protein like if I find something you might be trying to have a, a natural a natural burger so this is a new uh, product Ooh. so here we go and so if we have a little look again you might find that what you're really buying is still something that's more carbohydrate based so a per serve ah. for this is 32 grams of carb and so a meal is normally yep. around 30 grams of carb more or less but the protein's only 7.9. Now that's true. Now, so as a, um, as a, because you're like, you know, you are the food expert, but as someone who's more of a, con as a consumer and, you know, um, though I come from a clinical background, I, you know, I still am learning so much yeah. um, in the supermarket myself. But I think, um, and we will do a section on like nutritional values, but I mm. think for a vegan or a vegetarian trying to acquire a protein source, it's really interesting to look at the values on the back to see that have you got an adequate um, yeah, protein, protein choice, choice um, yeah. among the other, um, when you're trying to balance, trying to get yeah. the balance in the meal and I think uh, you talk a lot about the balance, yes. finding balance in yeah. foods. And, and, um, and the reason why you want to have balance, so if you want to have balance of protein per meal, vegetarian, not vegetarian, whatever it will be, it makes you feel full. Yeah. It helps you feel full. I mean, I don't know if you've ever found I'm going to have a curry vegetable dish yeah. and soon after you get the munchies. Yeah. And, have, and so what can happen is that you just haven't had that protein balance to give you that satiety. And then if you're not getting enough protein, you get sugar craving. Yes. A lot of people yeah. will end up going vegetarian or vegan. They might find that just can't feel full, they're snacking, yeah. they're putting on weight. So really important to get better protein. So I'll just quickly go through a few more. And then I can spend a whole half hour on this section. So um, this one I found was really interesting. I don't know if you've ever seen this one. It's called Satan or Satan. Oh, <laughs> I okay. know. And so this is a funny one. I don't know if you can zoom in on that, but yeah, if you just turn it around, I just I thought I'd show you the back of it as well because it looks interesting. Yeah, yeah it's very interesting. It looks a bit like tofu if you were to feel it. It's a little bit dense, yeah. and you sort of got to be inventive I think on how to use it okay. but um, and they seem to have different ones now that might be flavored as well and so what's the main yeah. ingredient in this one so, so in this one it's actually the protein that's found in wheat so oh. it's actually the gluten flour so those people with celiac disease can't have this as a protein alternative but interestingly a third of this packet gives you 39 grams of protein 
which is quite very dense very dense okay yeah so I found this the other day I thought it was really interesting this you know we all think tofu when we're going vegetarian and vegan but this is a very interesting protein and, and I think that's uh, one of the great things about uh, stuff in uh, I guess the supermarket there's just so much more choice that like mm. industry is really serving up um, uh, so much more choices. So, you know, many, many, many years ago, vegetarians and vegans uh, were kind of like the lonely people mm. with the uh, maybe less interesting food plate. But mm. now, like, oh my gosh, there is choice, 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 which mm. is wonderful. Um, so we might go through further uh, foods with uh, vegetarian and vegan, but um, there we go, just a little sneak peek on protein availability for people that are on a plant food diet.